Hey, it's Adam with Tech Dive AV Club, and sometimes I think of these little tips and stuff that just don't fit for a whole video. So I'm gonna tell you as many tips as I can while peeling a mandarin. So let's get started. So first, if you toggle the grid lines on, then it'll really help when you graphic design because then you can make sure everything is symmetric while you're setting your titles up and your picture and pictures and things like that. If you hold the shift key plus an arrow up or arrow down key, you can actually change the size of the waveforms in your audio tracks. And that's actually super helpful because if you have an audio track that was recorded at a lower volume, you might still want to see the waveforms while you edit so you can see where you start talking or where your talent starts talking. If you're making an edit and then you find out that you really would have rather had auto ripple on when you did that edit, just hit the F key. And when you hit the F key, it'll auto ripple that whole track. If you want to auto ripple all the tracks, hit Control F. You can crossfade a clip into itself and add a Gaussian blur to give it a camera blurring effect. And if you reverse that, it gives a focusing effect. Doing this and adding titles is actually a great way to make the titles pop. If you just hold and drag a clip while hitting control, it'll actually duplicate that clip. Dropping a gradient on something only takes seconds. You can customize the gradient into anything you want and it really kind of sometimes gives it that extra vibe that you're looking for. You just have to lower the opacity on it so you can see the object underneath the gradient. So sometimes you pop up a title. Well, if you put a transition on that title, it's a simple way to jazz up your project. Sometimes you just might have your b-roll out of order. Instead of moving it around manually, just grab the shuffle tool. And with the shuffle tool, you can just type one clip and shuffle it with the other relatively easily. Copy a clip, you can actually paste the event attributes to another clip. So if you have a bunch of effects and crops on something and you want all those same effects on a totally different clip, just copy the clip, but then paste only the event attributes with the right clip. Very helpful, and you can actually, if you want to get more granular about it, you can selectively paste the event attributes. Right, and that's all my tips, and that's all my um, Clementine, so I'll see you guys next time.